Hi guys, welcome to part one of how to crochet your own mini bear. This is the same pattern used for the wedding bears. There's a number of videos in this bear pattern, so there is a playlist and you can find that link up here. It should be popping up on your screen and if you don't see it there, look in the description box below. There's an introduction video for this pattern as well and in that video I show you what we need to make the bear. So if you haven't seen that already, please view that and that will also be popping up on your screen. This is part one. In part one, we're making the muzzle first. I'm going to show you how to add the nose to the muzzle. And then we're going to crochet the head from rows one to the end of row nine. Those of you who don't need any help with the crocheted rows, please refer to the written pattern. Those of you crocheting along with me, grab your crochet hook and let's get started. All right, my friends, so I'm going to show you how to do the muzzle first because we're going to be sewing this muzzle onto the head before we're finished making the head. So we're going to make the muzzle set it aside and it'll be ready for us when we're ready to sew it on. So the way we do the muzzle is exactly the same way we start the head. So I will show you here. You will see muzzle. Row one is a loop with six stitches. Row two is two single crochets in each one of those six stitches. And then the head is the exact same thing. Row one is a loop with six stitches and then row two is two single crochets in each one of those six stitches. So I'll go very slowly over row one and you'll just watch what I'm doing and then pause the video and try it yourself. Take the shorter yarn tail, I'm going to wrap it around these two fingers twice. Then I'll hold that yarn tail between my pinky and my thumb. And then hold the working yarn in between my pinky and my thumb. I'm going to insert my hook and bring it to the back. I want to pull this yarn here underneath these two strings. Now I have a loop on my hook. I'm going to grab the yarn one more time and pull it through that loop on my hook. And that just created a slip knot. Now I can take it off my fingers and get ready to crochet on. I'm going to put six single crochets into this ring. Going through the ring each time I go through, grab the yarn and pull it through the ring. Now I have two loops on my hook. Grab the yarn and pull it through those two loops. And there was one single crochet. Now we're going to repeat that five more times. Going through the ring, grab the yarn and pull it through the ring. You have two loops grab the yarn and pull it through those two loops. And there was two, and three, and four, five, and last one, six. We put six single crochets into that ring and now they're called stitches. And you can see the V's of the stitches. There will be six of them. Count six V's all the way across. Now we need to close up this ring. So I'm going to hold that slip knot in between my finger and my thumb. And I'm going to pull on one of these two strings and see which one will close up this ring. It's not that one, so I know it's the next one. Pulling up from our finger and our thumb. Pull it all the way. Now we have another loop we need to get rid of. We're going to pull on the starting yarn tail. Give it a little wiggle. There's our row one with six stitches. So we can count those. Just pull out your last stitch so you don't lose it. Underneath that big loop, you can see the V. There's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So every stitch has two loops in it. So when you go through, you want to make sure you're going through both loops of the stitch. Let's see both loops there. Every time you go through, you're going through both loops. So let's get ready for row two. The starting yarn tail, we can work into the second row to hide it. You don't want to cut this up too short because you'll end up with a hole in your stuffy. So just leave it hanging or work it into row two. Row two is two single crochets in each one of those six stitches. So going through, grab the yarn and pull it through. And there was one. Now we're going to go back in the same stitch and do another one. And there's two. So that was two single crochets into the first stitch. Now we're going to go into the second stitch. Go through. Now we're going to go back in the same stitch we were just in and make another single crochet. Okay, so I want to hide that starting yarn tail, but you can see there's a bit of a gap there. 
doesn't really matter because we're going to be putting a nose here but if you want to close up that gap you can just pull on the starting yarn tail it'll make that little gap a little bit smaller okay so now we're going to go into the third stitch this time we're going to pick up the starting yarn tail and hold it over our hook and crochet as normal grab your yarn pull it through and there was one single crochet now going back in the third stitch again and make another single crochet going into the fourth stitch now going through hold the starting yarn tail over the hook and crochet around it there was one and two going into the fifth stitch now one and two and now into the last stitch of the row number six two single crochets and we're all done row two and now we can cut free that starting yarn tail make sure not to cut any of your working yarn so now we're done the muzzle we want to finish it off by evening up this edge here so we're going to make a slip stitch so in the next stitch we're going to slip stitch we're going to go through grab the yarn pull it through instead of yarning over just pull the first loop through the second loop and that just gives a nicer uh, finish there now we're going to finish off pull out your last stitch so you don't lose it break free leave a yarn tail long enough to sew the muzzle to the head pull that yarn tail through that loop and pull it tight So this is the front side of the muzzle and this is the back side. This side will be sewn against the face. So now we can add the nose. So we're going to use a yarn needle. I'm just using a blunt and yarn needle and a length of yarn. You can use embroidery thread as well. Bend it over and push the bend through. Coming from the back of the muzzle to the front, bring my yarn needle through, bring one yarn tail through and leave the other one in the back. I'm just going to make a line across the top. And now I'm going to come through the center hole of row one, coming through the center, pull it through, and I'm going to make a V. So I'm going to go on the beginning of that line, going back down. Coming up through the center hole again. Finish off that B. There we go. Now we just have to fill in the middle. Then I go right across the middle and over the top of that line. Okay, now I'm going to bring it through underneath. I'm just going to make this little line here. And then back down at the bottom of that V and that's it now we can just knot this off in the back okay and now I'm going to cut that up shorter so there we go it's all ready to be sewn onto the face so now we have to go ahead and make the head I've already jumped ahead and made my first two rows so row one was a loop of six stitches and then row two is two single crochets in each one of those six stitches. So it's exactly the same way as this, except for you don't slip stitch at the end of row two. So go ahead and pause the video, make your two rows and then come on back here and we'll start off with row three. All right, welcome back. Now that you have your two rows, you will need a marker from here on out. So I just use a piece of yarn of a different color. Just remember if you use a yarn marker, it can be pulled out along the way. So you have to keep that in mind. So here's my two rows. I have 12 stitches around. My starting yarn tail is hanging there and I'm just gonna leave it hanging there. I can tuck it into the head when I'm done. Now I'm gonna add my marker. I'm gonna go through the last stitch I just put in. Remember we're at the end of row two. So you add a marker at the end of every row. So I'm going to pull the one strand through and leave the other one hanging. And that's what I'll move every time I'm finished a row. So row three is one single crochet in the first stitch and then two single crochets into the second. And then we repeat that all the way around. One in the first, two in the second. Repeat one in the first, two in the second. All the way around. When you land on this marker, you should be putting in two single crochets. 
So let's do the first set together. One single crochet in the first, and now two single crochets into the second. One, and back in for two, and then repeat that. One single crochet in the first, and now two single crochets into the second. And see, so you just keep repeating that all the way around. All right, guys, so I just sped up the row. I'm coming to the end here. So one single crochet in the next. And you can see two is going to land on that marker, so I'll pull it out and put in two single crochets. And that's the end of row three, and now we have 18 stitches around. And if you're unsure, it's a good idea to count your stitches. Make sure you still have 18. And then move your marker, going through that last stitch, pull it through. Row four is one single crochet in the first two stitches, and then two single crochets into the third, and then repeat that. One, one, two, one, one, two. All the way around when you land on the marker you'll be putting in two single crochets one single crochet in the first one single crochet in the second and then two single crochets into the third stitch going back in the same stitch and there's two and then just going to keep repeating you're going to pause the video and we'll meet back here when we land on the marker all right so we're all finished row four and now we have 24 stitches around and if your piece is folding up on itself, which is completely normal, sometimes you'll see something happen like this. This is the wrong side, and this is the right side. So if you don't stop and turn it, it'll keep folding up on itself, and pretty soon you'll be working um, inside out. So just make sure that you're working on the right side always. All right, so rows 5 through 9 is one single crochet in each one of those 24 stitches for 5 rows. So you're going to move this marker 5 times. And you're going to put one single crochet in each one of those 24 stitches. So the first row that I do, I always count in my head as I go along. So when I land on this marker, if I've counted to 24, then I know that I've got the right stitch count. All right, guys, so now you can pause the video and meet me back here when you're finished row 9. Remember, you're going to move this marker five times. And I will show you how to count rows if you've lost track. And I'll also show you what to do if your stitch count is a little bit out of whack. So just make sure you have 24 stitches every time you land on this marker. Alright guys, that brings us to the end of this video. Part 2 should be popping up on your screen, and if you don't see it there, look in the description box below. I'll meet you over in the next video.